Hey, I'm Swiss Milk, and if you're looking for a way to create virtually unflippable rovers, this is the how-to for you. Getting straight to the goods, about a month ago I started brainstorming unique inventions to feature on this channel. There exists a feature that allows the crafting of unflippable rovers by adjusting the center of gravity such that it is under the surface the rover travels on. Real life vehicles must also consider their roll centers during the design phase. The roll center of Formula One race cars, as shown here, is very low to the ground which allows for the driver to corner at high speeds. If a vehicle rests more on the wheels opposite to the direction of the turn when the center of mass is above the contact point of the wheels, then what would happen if the center of mass is below the ground? Rotor-based engines such as air-breathing engines and KSP have centers of mass that are offset from the parts. While this is realistic and that the heavy components such as rotors would exist within the nacelles of an airplane, you can attach these engines to any part and get the same effect. Using this technique, here is an extreme example of just how much you could offset the center of mass. If you place these engines thrust up attached to a rover, each one will pull the center of gravity further downward. Let's experiment with this to answer the question of roll direction. Check out the location of the center of mass on this simple rover. With just two engines offsetting the mass, we get some serious effects. When turning, the rover rolls into the direction of the turn. I'm so excited to share this with all of you, and I'm sure you are excited to boot up KSB and explore all the new possibilities. As a grand finale, I would like to share with you one of the more extreme designs I came up with to handle the low gravity of ELU. I use three engines and a ton of wheels. I can corner at 40 miles an hour without so much as a budge, and that on a planet with gravity a fifth of that of Kerbin. I have used this method to create all manner of gizmos, ranging from self-riding motorcycles to to the hydraulic lowrider in my last video. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I would love to see some video replies featuring your creations. Until next time, this is Swiss Milk, signing out.